I feel my I feel myself more as an artist, you know. So so and I, and I kind of realized that point, you know, where when people came to me and they say, "Well, oh my my God, Jeff Hamilton, you know, I own three of your pieces. Why don't you say I own three of your jackets?" You know. So and you only refer to pieces when it's referred to art. Right. So I kind of like say, "How can I elevate my brand?" into making it more that it's so personal, there's a connection. So in 1991, I started signing every single jacket I make. Not only the jacket, all the high end. As of now, I sign every single jacket I make. I don't care if it's a $300 jacket. There's not a $300 jacket for charity. My cheapest one is $850. But every jacket that I do, I sign every single jacket. Right. Every jacket is packaged in a certain way. Uh, on the high end jackets, like the, the, the 5,000, 10,000, I actually create a piece of art which I print and then I all hand in hands and I sign it and I put a seal. So whenever you get the, 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 the Jeff Allen jacket, you really get an experience. But also a very, very important. So like even in 2000, I used to ship the jacket with my signature, but it was not actually hand signed. It was embroidered with my signature, where now I physically do it. So the idea is I want... I mean, we're talking about also an era that there was no social media, there was no Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or anything like that. Right. Uh, it was only from the buzz that goes out in the street. You know, obviously the word the, of the, mouth. The, the word of mouth, and you get like when you see when Cameron uh, shoots me out in one of his songs. I mean, you know, <laughs> everybody knows what it is, and it's a big, it's bigger than than God at that time in 2000. Did right. you know they had Jeff Hamilton jackets on them? Dipset. I guess it probably wasn't cognizant of who designed oh, them I mean, at if, that time. If you look at it, I mean, if, when he mentioned my name in that Get Em Girls, I mean, and, and, and I, Talk only three, it. four years ago, I watched a video on YouTube, and, and what did I see on the video? Virgil is in the video, Dante in the video, uh, Kanye is in the video. I mean, all those people are in the video like that, and then they were not, nobody knew who Kanye was at the time. Right. In 2000, nobody knew who Kanye was. And he was only like a, a great producer, made amazing beats, and people was, was but that they grew up together from, you know, I gotta ask from this Chicago question. And, but they were, they, were, they were coming to Harlem to try to get the, the vibe. I gotta ask this question, and of course, God forbid, but do you spend time thinking about what becomes of the brand once you're yeah. gone? Yeah, so I'll, I'll get to that, you know, like, like, because I really want to tell you where, where I'm at. But, but so, and I, I'll get to that right now. So for me, like today, again, giving you always my, my uh, and I don't mean by be my precepts of how I ran my business and my life is I have three major, uh, three major things that make me happy today, mm. where, I, where I work for, which is something that when you're young, I never felt I would get those rewards. I felt like the only reward when I work is money. Right. And unfortunately, when you're an entrepreneur, all you care is about money, and which is, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, you, you, we need money. We need to have money. I need to have money to pay my bills. I need to have money to support my family. But beyond that, if I don't have a Louis Vuitton pair of shoes or a Prada or whatever it is, it's, it's okay. You know, you, you still can be okay. You know, it, you're still going to survive. So at this stage of my life, money is very important and I work for money, and, but it's, it's not my, only my priority. I'm going to say not only because it is a priority. The number two priority is to finally discover, because I went through many ups and downs, and I only came back to work two years ago. Mm. And, and it just caught on fire like, like crazy. What were you doing during that hiatus, Nothing. and how long was it? I was retired, and I was doing art, and I, and I got involved in different ventures. Not successful. Really? And really just like realized that, you know, cannot afford anymore like $38,000 a month of mortgage on, on my house, you know. Yeah, I'm bleeding every night, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm, and I'm, but at that point, I'm already into weed and alcohol and all that stuff, so to try to, to, to appease my pain. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers, so that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.